Hello everybody, welcome back to a new After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford and I'm going to talk about lights today and I'm going to do a little introduction to lighting. And a light is created in 3D space just like the light I smashed my head off of like four days ago when I was trying to clean the house. It was one of those fluorescent lights that are like twirled around and I just like raised my head up and I guess I was, I don't know why it, it's down so low, but I freaking hit my head off of it and smashed it right up. And it, it was still lit for a little while, but then the next day I came back and it wasn't lit anymore. So the lights I'm talking about are going to be found up here in your layer panel or your layer drop down here and then you come down to light and there are a few different lights there's a parallel light a spotlight point and ambient and I'll go over those one at a time for you so you can figure out what they do and how they are used so um, I just brought up a picture of a guy here and it's in 3d space it's this one right here and then I have a camera and then I also made a light and if I turn on the light you can see how now the After Effects original like default light when you don't have any lights on is a hundred percent ambient there and when you turn on a light it turns off the default After Effects light and uses the light that you have in your scene now I took a spotlight so if I double click on my light I can bring up my properties and I took a spotlight here and I'll just write spot and I kept the intensity at a hundred percent I reduced the cone to thirty percent to make it like uh, a spotlight that was like kinda like dead on and I just left a feather at fifty so that's an example of how you can use your lights in uh, different ways to like illuminate your scene. The brightness of lights is affected by different um, properties and in different ways depending on what's going on in your scene and the different properties you have set up. For example, the angle of your light is going to affect how bright the image is that you're casting the light on and what I'm talking about is when you tilt your light if I tilt this light down I'll have to rotate it it's it's not going to be as bright as you can see here and if I change like the position or anything like that the light isn't gonna be as bright now also the angle between the camera and the actual layer is going to have a small effect on your light. So if I turned, if I rotated this layer, you can see that the light on it actually gets dimmer. As you can think about it, like if the the lights need to bounce off the layer and come into the camera, and that's how you get your uh, lighting there. So now when it's back straight on it's at the maximum value there and when the light is straight on to the object it's going to be the brightest the material properties of your object also um, depend on or also affect how bright your lighting is so if I bring down the uh, picture here oh, wrong picture let me grab this one and come down into material options you get some options going on here now this option here called diffuse that is how um, much light that your object will accept so if I turn this all the way up you can see that the brightness of the light changed so if I turn it back down to down lower to zero now there is a lot less light being uh, accepted by the object I'll put that back on 50. 